Hello, cuties. I hope you've been absolutely marvelous. I hope you've been doing fantastic. And welcome back. You know why back? Because today we're gonna look at somebody that we love on my channel. One of my most favorite Filipino vocalists, and it's gonna be Katrina Velarde. Now today we're gonna get Katrina Velarde singing along with another huge legend and that's gonna be Jessica Villarubin. These two stunning ladies are gonna sing I Surrender. I can wait. I, you know, I'm the biggest fan of stunning women working together and creating magic. Katrina is a world-class vocalist. I never can really get enough of her. I've reacted to a bunch of her solo songs. Definitely check those. Whenever there's Katrina, you know the Katrinka is gonna follow. <laughs> if you are interested in everything singing and music related and you would like me to react to more of your recommended vocalists and your favorite artists, then make sure to subscribe. If you are interested in me singing, then head to my second music channel, which is called Katrinka Music, and it's gonna be linked down in the description along with the link to my website. So if you've ever wanted to sing or you would like to work with me on your voice, and definitely head there there should be all the information that you will need and now without any further ado katrina velarde and jessica villa rubin i surrender hey let's go very dramatic but we love dramatic look at her she's so incredibly stunning my beloved Katrina, look at her. There's so much life I've left to live, and this fire is burning still. When I watch you look at me, I think I could find the way. Such a gorgeous voice. Her tone quality is so rich, and when she really drops the larynx and go into those lower spaces it's like oh my god it's gorgeous it resonates beautifully to stand for every dream and forsake the solid ground and give up this fear within of what would happen if they ever knew i'm in love with you beautiful little run there gorgeous i love that she always finishes with this heavy beautiful vibrato but this was all belted put from the chest so so beautiful i also love that um she actually showcased multiple vowels and correct openers on the vowels and her her voice is literally like liquid gold and back into a little bit supported with Surrender. You can hear the difference between the full and heavy bell that she had and the finish surrender, which is much more cushioned with breath. Okay, let's see. I know I can survive So Jessica is using a lot of riffs as well, but her approach is slightly different. You can see that she's going much more in the song than uh, Katrina at the very beginning. But to be fair, Katrina had a very, very intro to the song. So she was the first one to sing. So the intro had to be very light and very, it was very gorgeous. Like we could focus on that richness in her voice. Jessica is now kind of, 
creating the same or singing the same melody, but she doesn't have to create that soft intro. She can already continue with the, the atmosphere that is much more open now. It's really hard to believe that this is still a placement for both ladies that is incredibly comfortable. This is nothing that they would not do on a, you know, Friday night, Saturday night or Monday morning. So this is still very comfortable for both of them because they are um, incredible belters, both of them. You can see how nicely they're opening the tones. There are a lot of heavy vibrato, but they're not clashing and they are both presenting themselves incredibly. <laughs> First of all, that climb was amazingly synchronized. It was so incredibly clean. They went from the pulled chest belt up to that gorgeous opened mix. And both of them, you could see how beautifully they both mastered that mix. It was a little bit back sound, but so nicely opened. Right, it was incredible. And you would say that both of them, like their voices would clash and it would be just overlapping too harshly but it was just so well synchronized it was really really beautiful and it climbed up without any interruption without any audible switch and just oh insane this is so rare to get to singers like this in one song in one room this is ah oh, I'm, I'm living for this God, okay, so they're kind of fluctuating at the points who is going with an actual pulled belt and who's actually going back into that uh, mix. Both of them are doing it in the most incredible way. And this is just, this is a showcase. They're both doing everything. There's been a couple of runs uh, for Katrina up to a very highest head voice, like really just like bloop, into oblivion, like <laughs> literally beautifully, angelically done, very clean. And uh, Jessica is actually showcasing how to really do the, the mix in the most powerful most clean way possible. Her technique is insane.
that fall that fall was ins I'm gonna replay that that's that fall was insane so from clean and strong to released and very airy that fall was stunning also I love that they are using a little bit of the fry here and there both of them I need to hear it one more time. Ooh, beautiful. This is what you get when you put two amazing vocalists in one room and you let them play and you have this. This was an insane vocal athleticism. athleticism. <sighs> they were so on par with each other, like none of them was lacking on the other one. They were so powerful, both of them. I like that they still kept their own energy like jessica and katrina you could see their own personal styles in this duet even though they were in so many really high places where it is a lot of mix it's a lot of builds and it's just so bright and powerful like i wouldn't want to be in that room because that had to be like overwhelmingly you know loud oh my god i have goosebumps from this i think it was absolutely gorgeous mm, i really do again i really do like that they both kept their personal style within the duet and just made it very obvious and made it shine but didn't overpower the other ones kind of typical quirks that they are using so for me they did not clash there's been some moments which were just completely insane but those were like really the highest parts and the biggest notes where if two singers are gonna sing them together it's just gonna be lots than sing by two great singers that are at the peak of their career like at the peak of what they can do when it comes to their capabilities katrina couple of times climbed at the head voice um she does has this very powerful um well-balanced head voice that is very um nicely balanced to the rest of her registrars so it's not like she switches into the head voice and it's suddenly this thin tiny little voice it's actually pretty powerful and she's very athletic with it she has a lot of stamina to pull it up from the lowest tone up to the head voice and just keep the same energy and Jessica was doing a lot of mixing. Look, the, the mix on Jessica is insane. And uh, even though it's quite bright, it's not too metallic. None of them are too metallic. It's because their actual, their voices are pretty much earthy, very nice grounded. So when they go to higher tones and to the mix and to the pulled belts, it's not overwhelming. They were on par. You could see how happy they were after the finish of the song. They were very satisfied. Who wouldn't be? This was a stunning rendition. I really recommend you to go and listen to the whole song alone without me and support. It's on the Katrina's channel. If I'm correct, it's going to be linked down in the description. So if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to subscribe right here. Here is the video that YouTube actually recommends for you. And here is the rest of my Filipino reactions. Please stay safe and healthy. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.